Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. Today I'm happy to be participating in a challenge called Home Tweet Home. It's hosted by Leah at Junkernecker and her co-host is Annie of Indie Annie Jones. You'll want to be sure and check out both of their channels for some awesome content, as well as the playlist which will be linked in my description box. We were challenged to take an old birdhouse or birdcage and make it over and give it some new life. So would you like to see what I did? Let's get started! I couldn't find a birdhouse or a birdcage that I wanted to make over and my husband was out in our shed and found this birdhouse that was his mom's so I decided to give it a patriotic look. First thing I did was take some wipes and wipe it all down. My husband had already hosed it off outside but it still had some little bits of dirt in the nooks and crannies so I wanted a fresh surface to paint on. After I wiped down the whole birdhouse, I just used a little bit of sandpaper and roughed it up a bit. I didn't really want the birdhouse to look brand new. I loved that it looked rustic already and I wanted to keep some of that charm. After I was done sanding, I gave it another wipe down and got off all of the dust from the sanding. Originally, there was twine attached to the roof and you can see where I'm pointing out on each side. It left a hole and my husband patched that for me. And then on the base, it was actually a bird feeder and he filled that in for me with two pieces of wood that fit very snugly. The roof was attached with a couple screws, so my husband unscrewed the roof for me so that it was easier to paint. I'm starting out with white paint. I decided to freshen up most of the areas that were originally painted white. Here I took a little break from painting all that white and I'm going to use some navy blue. I am loving the look of the blue. It gives it such a fresh, updated look. Now I'm going back to finishing up the bottom of the birdhouse. I'm going to paint all the white and do any touch-up paint. I decided to get a little color onto my little white picket fence in the front, so I'm painting some blue and some red. I decided to paint a base coat of red on the sides and then you'll see I'm going to add some stick on letters and paint over it with white and that way the red letters will show through. You can see me holding these peel off letters here. I got them at the bins for mere pennies and I'm peeling off the letters that I want. I'm going to spell out love on one side and birds on the other side. So here I am placing the letters. I am just eyeballing it up and centering them and pushing them down tight. Once I have my letters situated, I just put a nice coat of white paint over the red and I did have to paint this twice because white doesn't cover red very well. Here I am painting the first bird perch navy blue and I did paint all of them the same color. I had already put the letters birds on the other side off camera and painted over those in white and at this point I was getting pretty antsy for the paint to dry so I could peel off those letters. So I decided to hurry the process along by using my trusty blow dryer. It worked out great. Now for my favorite part, let's peel off those letters. Let me know in the comments below if that's your favorite part too. Here's my finished project. I did forget to film one little part. I wrote my name and my husband's name right here on the picket fence. And the reason why I did that 
I put love on one side and birds on the other side because we are the birds for this project because I didn't have any birds that I wanted to put outside and this birdhouse is going to decorate our back porch. So my husband and I are the lovebirds so that's my little twist on this project. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Don't forget to check out the description box for the host and co-host channel links as well as the whole playlist. My next video will be on Friday where I will be sharing my summer home tour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.